Hey everybody, welcome to Meddling World today. I just pulled into Hollywood Studios because we're gonna go for a ride on the Skyliner. I'm gonna give you all the information, everything you need to know about how to utilize the Skyliner transportation here at Disney World. So come on in, check it out. Yes, guys, I do have my a Mickey umbrella with me this morning with a little bit of rain, but uh, we're here. I just pulled in to Hollywood Studios parking lot, and I figured, you know what? It's a great day to show you all about the Skyliner. Uh, the Skyliner is one of the transportation op options here at Disney World. Now, you don't need to be staying at a resort to utilize the Skyliner as you can see if you're an annual pass holder if you're a cast member or if you're staying on property you can park in any of the Disney parks for free if you're coming from outside of the Disney bubble or um, a resort that is not here on Disney World property you would have to pay um, so anyway it's one of the ways you can get onto the skyliner but there are several different ways i'm going to show you and it's a little rainy sometimes with rain or thunder or lightning they will pause this they'll hold it and you won't be able to use it so i was a little iffy because it was raining pretty heavy earlier but right now it is in operation and what i'm going to do is i'm going to start here so you can see we're at hollywood studios so if you were in the park Say you were hanging out at Hollywood Studios and you wanted to go to Epcot or you wanted to go to one of the different resorts that is connected to the Skyliner, which I'm about to show you, you can utilize this as transportation. You can leave your car here. You can go riding all around on your Skyliner to different areas. So let's jump on board right here at Hollywood Studios. We're going to ride it across and I'll show you the first stop. So as we're getting ready to go on, guys, yeah, it's a little rainy. There might be a little rain on the camera. But I do want to show you that here is very important because you need to know the hours of the Skyliner. Today, you can see for Hollywood Studios, 7 to 11, Epcot, 7.30 to 10.30, and then uh, those two resorts. There are other resorts, but particularly those two resorts, 7 to 11. So you could get over right over to Pop Century Art of Animation. I'm going to show you in a second. And this one here shows you all the different areas you can go to. So we're going to be stopping at this hub. We'll call them hubs. They're kind of like stops or whatever. So you're going to get off here. I'll get off and I'll show you guys. We're going to stop our first stop, Caribbean Beach Resort. And then you have your different transfers. No need to be confused. I'm going to, I'm going to get on. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you all inside the skyline and what it looks like. I'll give you some information about it. And then we'll get off at the first stop. And I'll show you around. So it's going to make perfect sense. Follow along on this vlog. Everything you need to know about the Skyliner. Guys, while we're talking about that, please take a moment. Subscribe to Meddling World if you haven't yet. We love our subs. We appreciate everybody who has subscribed. Let's go ahead and get on board. Thank you. All right, guys, let's get on. I'm going to show you all around inside right now as we get on. Awesome. So, we're at our first stop. And we're going to ride this over. Like it said, we're going to get off at the uh, Caribbean Beach hub. We'll call them hubs. Uh, as soon as we get out there, we'll have a little bit more light. We'll be cruising. And it's, it's very relaxing. It's cool. You can see how quickly it moves, too. It's not like you're just putting along. Now, sometimes it will slow down depending on traffic ahead, just kind of like the monorail or if you're on a ferry, you know, things can get uh, congested. But you can see where we are here. We're just kind of going right above is Hollywood Studios parking lot. So what we're going to do is, as I said, well, I'm going to show you all the different connections. And basically what it is, is it, 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 it you know, you're going to go through some different hubs and then finally you'll end up over at Epcot. So the two resorts that you can utilize from, if you're staying at these um, Skyliner resorts would be uh, the parks, I should say. The parks you can utilize are Epcot and Hollywood Studios. So pretty cool, but just take a look inside. You'll see uh, nice seating. There is no air conditioning, but I've been on here. These windows do open and close with these levers. Um, 
and I have been on this in the middle of the summer, very hot, and I've never had any issues. It's always been a breeze. It's been fine, really. There's also, yes, believe it or not, there's a kit here. Uh, this is a kit. Guys, you are suspended, you know. As I was saying, inclement weather comes, thunder showers, they can stop this. Technical issue, malfunction. That kit kind of has, I think it has like some waters and things. Kind of, uh, they call it actually a comfort kit. So, uh, you do have that just in case. I've been lucky enough that's never happened. Let's cross our fingers that it doesn't happen today. So, uh, there you have it. And you can see now, hopefully you can see, I know it's a little rainy, but straight ahead, that's the Caribbean Beach Resort. So we're gonna go ahead and get off there and I'll show you around. And I'll also show you that there are, you can utilize the Skyliner. If you have a baby stroller, you can wheel it right in. Okay, on one of these standard ones like this. Also, if you're in a wheelchair, electric uh, cart vehicle, they uh, have specific Skyliner um, carts you can drive right in for accessibility. I'll also show you that when we get off at our first stop and I'll show you where it connects. Let's go. What do you think guys, our first stop? And I do wanna show you that over here, you can come on, this is your accessibility area. Let me just show you the um, trans transport. I think they both are actually. So yeah, this is where you could come in if you're in a chair or anything like that. You can drive right in there and you don't even have to get out. So uh, wheelchair, electric cart, which I think is awesome. So here we are guys, this is our first stop. This is the Caribbean Beach right here resort. So again, you can utilize this if you wanted to come over. Say you want to go eat at Sebastian's, come on over, go check it out, hang out at the resort definitely allowed to do that they have retail shops here they have quick service um, and then everything is really nicely labeled out for you so we're gonna actually end up going this way because that's the way you would go over to the uh, Riviera Resort in Epcot okay now if you wanted to go to Art of Animation um, Art of Animation and Pop Century, you would get on here and you go directly over to that hub. So, pretty simple, right? So it's really nice if you're staying at like Pop Century, you can hop right on, get off, boom, you're right at Hollywood Studios. You don't need to drive, you don't need to wait for a bus. And this is pretty quick. So, let's go ahead and jump on the next one and I'm gonna come out over at the Riviera Resort. If you are continuing on to Epcot, you don't need to get off, but I'm gonna get off anyway just to show you. And here we go again, guys. And this is cool, like I said, Caribbean Beach. So if you're staying at Caribbean Beach, you can walk right over, uh, get on the Skyliner, and then decide, where am I gonna go? Epcot, Hollywood, another resort. So it's pretty neat. And what's cool too is that as you're cruising, you got these great views, and you also have Nice theming, right? Look, we have Olaf, or I should say um, Frozen. There's Olaf, I see him. So we kind of play games. Let's see how many we can guess. It looks like Coco coming in right there, guys. So yes, you have a little entertainment and beautiful views. Look at the Caribbean Beach Resort down there as we, I know it's a little rainy, but you guys can get the idea. And I do love the pool at Caribbean Beach. It's an awesome, theme pool and Sebastian's sit-down restaurant also awesome it's kind of like Sebastian's almost like a little hidden gem not a lot of people talk about this very good so we're gonna get off there you can see the Riviera Resort I'm gonna go ahead get off there and show you that hub as well we just got off here at Riviera now if you're gonna continue on to Epcot you don't even have to get off here. You can stay right on it, it'll loop you around and you'll go straight over to Epcot. But I did want to get off just so I can show you guys where you come out if you are staying on this resort. So, pretty neat. And here is kind of a one way over to Epcot. So as you can see, you're gonna get, stay on, go around, and then you're gonna lead over to Epcot. So, what I want to show you is uh, from this up, say for some reason you wanted to go back, you would just follow these signs here 
and go back to all the other uh, hubs we were just at so pretty cool right now I can tell you it's not a busy day I'm able to walk right on this and I've literally from the time I left Hollywood Studios to here all already is only it's been under 15 minutes definitely under 15 minutes with no line got got on boom got off got on maybe not even 15 minutes so we're already here so now guys let's go ahead and head over to Epcot I'm gonna go ahead get on and I'm gonna head over to Epcot this way let's go for the next ride here we are again right where we came off just want to make sure you you know logistically you kind of have an idea where we are so I got off and I just looked around and came back on and again reason I got off is just to show you around so now oh look right the do we see I like this it's fun you can see which one which uh, animation or theming or comment looks like we got Nemo coming in let's see let's take a look at that one All right, guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and take a ride. We're gonna go over to Epcot. Again, isn't this awesome, man? It's such a great way, especially if you're staying at any of these resorts. So you have, again, that's a Caribbean beach right there. You got Caribbean beach. You got the Riviera. You've got Pop Century, and you've got Art of Animation. Those four resorts, so far with this hub here, definitely awesome means of transportation to Epcot or to Hollywood Studios. Now, when we get over to Hollywood, I mean, sorry, we're heading to Epcot. We're gonna go ahead and get off at Epcot. And there's three resorts there. Uh, that's kind of the last stop. So it, basically what it does is connects Epcot to Hollywood Studios with a couple stops in the middle at these resorts, which is awesome. But over at Epcot, when we get off, I'll show you, you have three more resorts there that can utilize this. You've got the uh, Beach Club, you've got the Yacht Club, you've got in Disney's Boardwalk. On top of that, you have the Swan and Dolphin Marriott, uh, not technically Disney Resorts, but partner Disney Resorts. They're located right there in Disney Springs. So well, let's head over to Epcot. A lot of talking here, guys, but this is the kind of video where you really want to know what's going on and you want to understand all about the Skyliner. Man, they got a lot of cocoa carts, don't they? All right. I'll see you guys when we get off at Epcot. As you can see here, we're coming into Epcot. Ratatouille rides there. Eiffel Tower. So, yes, that's France. And we're coming into the hub here at Epcot. Again, quick ride over. Love it. A little rainy, but, man, isn't it? It just looks so cool. I love it, man. I love riding on this. There's a lot of different transportation this is one of my favorite just because it's very relaxed it's very direct um, and i really like it so here we go we're coming in i'll show you guys outside one second here we are so we're at epcot now guys and you can go right into epcot right here you can enter in this is what's great so a lot of times if you're pop if you are park hopping and you know you're going to go to hollywood and Epcot, this is a great way to do it because if you start at Hollywood, you can come right over here and you can get right into Epcot, right off the Skyliner, right there. So, also, I was talking about the other resorts. You just walk down that way, guys, and you'll be at the, um, down that way is the Boardwalk, the Yacht Club, and the Beach Club, right down that way. So, again, here you are, and... They also, for another day, we'll show you the boat transportation. There's a whole bunch of boat transportation. We'll save that block for another day. And again, you got your hours here, so you always know what time. Got to pay attention to that because you don't want to get stuck. That's the whole thing. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the vlog today. I got to write it back now because I got to go back to Hollywood Studios, but... Just wanted to give you all the information about the Skyliner, everything you need to know, how to utilize it if you're staying at the resorts, if you're park hopping, if you're going to Epcot, if you're going to Hollywood Studios. Uh, take advantage of it. It's an awesome uh, transportation option here at Disney World. So thank you so much for watching. Please take a moment. Subscribe to Meddling World if you haven't yet. Thank you to our Patreons. And last but not least, see ya!